Okay, so it's that time of year again where we're starting to get some heated gear coming. Heated gear. So uh, these are by a company called, I don't even know, Calo, Calonesis, something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, 23 ratings, uh, five stars. Everybody seems to love them. That's great. Uh, heated gloves for men or women, 5,000 milliamp battery in it. Uh, winter gloves, rechargeable, yep. Uh, for skiing, hunting, hiking, cycling, snowboarding, motorcycle. Now, just be aware if you are wearing these on a motorcycle, um, heated gloves, great, awesome, but they aren't armored, right? So they don't have like knuckle protection or finger protection or wrist protection or, or palm protection or anything like that. They're really winter gloves. Um, can you wear them on a motorcycle? Yeah. Do Have I worn gloves like this on a motorcycle? Yeah. Do they help? Yeah, 100%. So it's not ridiculously cold outside but in the mornings right now in the mornings uh we're we're looking at like two to three degrees celsius so definitely cold enough for us to give these a try so right now we're going to take a look at what comes in the box we'll look at their amazon listing um these were sent to us of course uh and we'll let you know uh what we think All right, so first off, heated winter gloves. Yeah, three levels of temperature settings, 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, it does say that depending on the temperature, where did I see this? Yeah, you'll get at full about three hours, medium four hours, and at the lowest heat, seven hours. There's a guy in a snowmobile. I don't know what else to tell you about here. What does it say? Anti-lost buckle, battery pocket, one pull closure. Very cool. Uh, what is this? Waterproof coating, insulated heat layer, insulation coating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're good. We're all good. Uh, and then there's your sizing chart. I will leave links down below to Amazon. You guys can check these out if you're interested at all. Uh, anything else in here? Not really. Uh, it says the middle adopts a TPU waterproof and breathable membrane layer because... That's important because I know for me, I've ridden in some really bad weather, even rain where it's cold. And I don't find there's such a thing unless you're wearing like dishwashing gloves that you're, any, anything is really wet or really dry in like heavy rain. At least I, I don't have a pair. Um, not that I think this is necessarily designed for that because it's designed more for snow, right? So anyways, this is the box made in China, of course. Uh, just heated gloves. I don't know if this is the same kind of gloves that you'd get with a different brand because there's no branding on it, right? No branding at all on the box itself. So I don't, I don't know if it's just a company is just rebranding its some, the, just generic gloves. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, user manual. Very again, very generic, right? Operating, but a good manual. It's good size. I like that. Right, it looks like it's just uh, maybe two languages. Operating instructions, yep. It tells you three lights, it's hot. Two lights, it's medium. One light, it's not Not either of those two. Please fully charge for the first time out. I get what you're saying. Uh, this is going to be your charger, would be my thoughts. Right here, yes. Usually it's... Oh, no, this is the batteries. Oh, those are nice batteries, actually. All right. Usually you get... Sometimes you get like, nah, batteries. Those are, those are all right. So one USB-A to two USB-Cs. You guys can see that right there. So that's good. I like that. Yeah, those are, those are, those are like little tiny battery packs. I like that. Now my thought is, uh, here's my, here's my thought. My, my thought slash wonder. If anybody, maybe I'll try this down the road. I'll see. Um, because this, right, goes into this. My th my wonder is, is if this was long enough, like you could charge this if you stop somewhere, which is nice, right? It does. They are nice batteries. That does show fully charged, which is good. Uh, one of these is going to be for charging, is there, and one of those is going to plug into the glove itself. Yeah, that's a really nice battery because again, some of them I've had in the previous years, the battery looks not great. That's 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 really nice. Um, my guess is I'm wondering if you could have this charging at the same time that it's working. You know what I mean? Hmm. Curious now. Very curious. The only like if you got some kind of weird. I guess no. That would be hard because your hand would be tied together. Never mind. That's not going to work unless you had some kind of 
But if you had two USB A's or long US, could you? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, you get two of them. Okay. And then you get the gloves. All right. So gloves come in a nice little. Actually, I like the little bag because I would just keep that little bag, maybe keep this whole thing in like my, my side bag. And then when you're ready to, because it's cold out, you're like, no, it's cold. It's time. Time for me to put some warmer gloves on. Um, these are the, the lost things, I guess. So you just kind of do this. I'm guessing, right? Just like this. That is not coming off easy. All right. There's your bottom. It looks like it's got a nice grip on it. You guys can hopefully see that, right? It's a nice grip. I got, I don't even know what size I got. I got like extra large, I think. I think it was. But that's, yeah, oh, that's a good size. I chose wisely. And it's got, it's got a tightening strap here, depending on what you need, which is really nice as well. This is, this is where your battery is going to go. Yes. And same thing here. You got a tightening strap. You get the, this there. But I like, look how big that piece is. You guys see that? Which is awesome because it'll go over top of my coat will go in there. Which is great because a lot of these gloves, I find this is too tight. And you just can't get your glove. This, that's lovely. All right, I'm down with that. And they feel like just by themselves, they feel like they'd be warm. Like they're fairly thick, which is which is really good. And it, it does, again, it seems like maybe this is waterproofy on the, on the fingertips. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm down. And it also, I don't know if it does. Did I bring my phone with me? I did bring my phone with me. Let's just see. Now that's, those are, they're, they're big, right? I wanted to see, does it, yeah, so it does, it's not, it, because they're so big, like, it does work, but don't, don't really expect to be using your phone with monstr monstrous gloves like this. Okay, so we're going to put one on, just one for now, just to see how it is, so you guys can see there, there's the little, there's the little guy, that's just going to go in here, like so, do you have to turn this on? So my curiosity is, do you have to turn the battery on before you turn this on? Nope. It just just fires up. Okay, good. So we'll put that in there. Yeah, I like I like these. Already I like these. And I'm on the 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 three. Ah, oh, those are comfy. Yeah, that's that's warm. Do they say it's does it say it does what is it? Heated gloves. So I'm seeing that it does this part which it's definitely doing the top as well yeah see it it does show right it shows the bottom and the top oh those are warm well they're warm in the house at least right warm in the house and then you can just tap this to change which is nice because when you have gloves on as well it's easy to just tap and hold and i'm guessing you tap and hold to turn them off yeah Mmm, I think, I think it's time for us to take these outside, right? Right, take these outside, turn them back on again. That'll be a thumbnail right there, right? Um, and try them out, because again, uh, it's, 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 I don't know what the temperature is right now. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's nine, nine degrees. So, that's, um, we'll go out tomorrow morning. It'll be right away for you, but tomorrow morning it's supposed to be like, I can't remember, three or four degrees in the morning. So we'll go out at that point and uh, try them out. All right, hang, hang, hang tight. All right, my friends. So uh, you can see it's uh, a little cold out here. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it is currently four degrees Celsius, five degrees Celsius, something like that. Got my gloves, uh, got like two shirts and this on hoodie i think i'm good so i'm gonna put my helmet on and we're gonna go for a quick like 10 minute ride and we'll we'll talk about what we think about these these gloves all right uh it's chilly all right i definitely think today is a choke kind of day yep definitely a choke kind of day for sure for sure all right now again the, the thing that i think i like the most is this right the fact is i can get my cuff in there 
I like that. Now the other thing I did too, I don't know if you noticed this, but I put my charging cables actually in the glove so because there's enough room so that I wouldn't lose them. Which sometimes, you know, you just you misplace like charging cables or if you're traveling. There's enough there. Right? Let's get that in there. It's very nice. There's enough space inside here for that to happen. So if I push this full. Come on, did I plug this one in? There we go. Full and full. Alright, let's let's see the magic. Let's see the magic. Let's get out. We're gonna go through town. Because they had to go through about a 10 minute ride or so. And then uh we'll also hop on the highway because that's where it's, you know, it's probably gonna be its coldest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. Definitely some chilliness. All right, I'm gonna get out of the driveway, and then we'll we'll continue. All right. Guys, got his Camaro out for the end of season ride, maybe up there, which is kind of nice. All right, so right off the bat, my legs are cold. Yep, shouldn't have, shouldn't have just wore jeans. It's definitely chilly. And you can see some of the leaves falling. Because I was thinking of actually getting heated grips, but, you know, not that I want to be carrying these around in the middle of summer, you don't want to be caught in the rain or whatever. But, okay, they're starting to warm up. My legs are cold. Next, next somebody needs to have, maybe they have about some nice heated riding pants. That's what I need. Heated riding pants. Whew. Okay. So now, again, if you're on a motorcycle that doesn't have like a fairing like I do, just realize that you're probably going to be a little bit colder. Antique Auto. That's nice. That's nice. Look at the tires on it. Sweet. Okay. Okay, doggy. Yeah, so if you have like nothing up here, um, then just be aware, right? Like it's your your hands are gonna get more wind on them, right? So you it'll be colder. Now I can start to feel them warming up now, which is good. This guy really just stops whenever he. But yeah, I can start to feel them warming up, which is which is excellent. Um, but it's not as if they're getting hot, right? And this is on full. Now, of course, I had them on in the house, and they they heat up a lot. Now, my only recommendation probably would be is that. You know, before you actually get on the bike, you... Because I do this with, like, my heated gear that I have. Like, I have jackets and hoodies and stuff like that. And usually what I do is I'll put them on, like, five minutes before I go out. And I turn them on so that they get a chance to actually heat up and then, like, store some of that heat. So, just kind of be aware. It's probably a, not a bad idea here is to get them on and, again, get them to store the heat. But... Uh, as far as comfort goes right now, I'd have to say that they're, they're good. Like, they're not, like, my hands aren't hot, but they're warm, right? And I got them on full, so it, at this kind of temperature, you know, like, what is it, plus four or plus five or something like that, I probably wouldn't be, like, um, putting them on low or medium, uh, if you had to because you were running low on battery then sure but right now yeah I'm, I'm definitely happy with them being on on hot for sure and speed wise what am I doing I'm not going fast I'm doing about 60 kilometers an hour so going through town so that's that's okay you know spider web spider web all right, so we're going to go up here and get through some of the curves. Again, we're going to go on a ride that's about, probably about 10, 15 minutes. That's about it. But if my hands can stay at this, this level of warm for the 10, 15 minutes, then I'll be pleased. 
right? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pleased because my hands, my hands are, my hands are good. All right, so uh, we're gonna continue our ride and uh, see, see how this goes. I'll, I'll touch base with you guys in a, in a few minutes. Okay, so just, just so you guys know, um, my legs are freezing. Oh my gosh, they're cold, right? Especially in like this area in here. Oh, oh man, they are cold. And that is, I'm guessing it's part and parcel of it because it's up against the tank and the tank's extra cold, but wow. Oh, they are chilly. Chilly, 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 for sure. How's my, uh, I can probably pull, put the clutch in or the choke in now if I can feel it. Where are you? There you are, okay. Oh yes, that's, that's cold. But again, so far, my hands, my hands are doing good, which is excellent. Again, normally, I was on a ride. I was on a ride last week, and same idea. It wasn't this cold. We started off, and it was probably about 10 degrees. And uh, by the, by the time I hit our first our first stop, which was about three minutes from my house. I was like, yeah, no, 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 I need, I need to dress warmer. Uh, so I had to put chaps on and uh, I ended up putting some other winter gloves on just because my hands were freezing. And it was, yeah, it was about 10, maybe 10 degrees or so. So we're sitting at five, four or five degrees. And you know, when you're riding, a lot of people, well, people that ride know this, you know, when you're in the cold, you take five degrees and uh, because you're getting hit with all the wind, it's probably closer to a zero degrees, really, uh, which is why my legs are absolutely freezing. Look at the, the colors of the trees are changing, which is nice. Um, and these, you know, they say that I should get about three hours on high, and that would be pretty good, because normally, if I'm gonna go out, let's say it's this temperature, five degrees, I'm not going out for a ride any more than three hours. And if I am going out for a ride that's longer than three hours, my hope is that, let's say I leave at nine o'clock in the morning, the hope is, is that by noon, it's not gonna be five degrees anymore. Like like today, for instance, today it's it's has a low of, it was a low of three. So it was three when I, when I started getting ready. Um, but by this afternoon, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, 16, right? So at that point, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't need these anymore, right? So they, they'd be fine. Um, and I could switch to normal gloves or just turn the heat off or, or whatever it is. Now, again, the only other thing to be sort of aware of with these is these really are just a winter glove. Now, they, they have, you know, I'm guessing some waterproofing on them, but I would say probably more for snow than like, like heavy rain as well as uh, they have that little touch sensor which is which is great it has it on the index finger and the thumb which you know if I turn my phone on right now can I turn my phone on yeah right I can move stuff around it's fine right uh, is it great no it's just whatever uh, I find if you really want that kind of stuff to work uh, you want really small, tight gloves just so that it feels like just like a, an extra layer of skin on your finger, not like a big bulky winter glove. Not that they're crazy bulky, but they're, they're definitely. Um, now, the one thing that is nice so far, um, outside of the fact that my legs are completely numb right now, is that uh, my whole hand is like warm. Again, not hot, but it's comfortable. It's, it's really comfortable. Um, top of my hand is good. My fingers are good. My, my palms are good. It's, it's all good. So so far so far I'm, I'm pleased but again don't expect them to be hot hot when you're riding but I'm down and I could I, I would think like for instance here where we live you know honestly it, it, for temperature wise even in the winter we have some odd like really cold days like minus 20 or so but for the most part we're sitting at minus 5 minus 10 you know, uh, the, I would think these would be great for that kind of stuff. You know, when you get really cold, uh, I just don't go outside. That's 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 really what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna keep riding. We are going to come up here and hit the highway and uh, do a short boost on the highway just to kind of see how that feels. I'm pretty sure at that point I will have zero feeling in my legs. 
um, which is great. Uh, but the things we do for you fine folks to see how these gloves are going. All right, uh, we'll do this traffic circle and hit the highway. Now the other thing, just where's it? This is it here. Yeah, I almost missed my turn. All right. The other thing that I find nice is even though they are wintry gloves, like for riding, like I have no problems fitting them between my levers and stuff like that. Like I can feel everything pretty good, which is decent. They're not like crazy thick, which is nice. Ready? Highway. All right. I'm going to set my cruise. When I get up there, turn my cruise on. Yes. Yep. All right. Here we go. You guys are here in that that motorcycle power oh yeah so we are currently at about I'm gonna set it right there so that would be it's registering on the speedometer about hundred and twenty ish so I'm gonna say 110 115 kilometers somewhere in that range um, yeah my legs are cold for sure but I'm highway driving you know got my hands out here in the wind now if I have them out here like this I can definitely feel my fingertips start to get a little little chilly but who's riding like this right so if you have been here um, especially if you have a motorcycle like mine where you do have some wind protection you know especially if you have some kind of like bat wing or big windshield that you know, pushes the wind over your hands, which this definitely does. I get a little bit of wind in kind of this area, um, but, you know, yeah, like normally, I would be like, nope, not riding. If I had to do the highway with my normal gloves, not a chance. Uh, just way too cold. My body's starting to get a little cold right now, for sure. Um, but my hands, my hands are good. Again, not, uh, they're not hot and they're not heating up. They're kind of just staying at this consistent temperature from the, what they were at the start, which which I'm okay of. And again, they're at high. So if you're riding in, and I'm gonna say it about, you know, that five degrees Celsius, right? Five degrees Celsius. Uh, I, I would say you're, you're, you'll be okay. Now I could take this, this road into my house right here, but uh, we're gonna continue continue on to the next exit because you know because I want to. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of ride till we get close to my exit, which is probably about you know five-ish minutes or so, and uh, we'll we'll check back with you guys at that point. All right. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to uh, getting in the house. <sighs> yep. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little chilly. But you know, if I were to be wearing my chaps or my uh, my my like adventure pants or something like that, I'd probably be okay. Uh, or if I was wearing my like my riding jeans, my riding jeans are definitely a lot thicker, so they'd probably still be cold, but not cold like I am now. Um, yeah, I'm a little, little chilly, but again, you know what? I'm pleased with my hands. Yeah, yeah, they're not cold at all. So we've been out now for, I don't have no idea how long, 15 minutes, maybe, maybe we'll come up by the time I get home, probably about 20 minutes. And, uh, yeah, I think the surprising part is, is that my hands feel, uh, the same level of warmth now as they did when I started which is which is actually really nice so I would say again if you're riding in maybe closer to 10 degree weather and you find that your hands are cold you could probably put these at like like level one or level two if you're like me and it's five degrees oh it's cold in the shade you can definitely feel that temperature kind of feel like it drops when you hit the shade ho oh, ho um, but yeah, like now, full temperature says I got three hours. Now the other thing too is what I like about these uh, is that they they do charge with that little USB charger. Now for me, uh, I always carry a battery brick around all the time. I never never leave 
the house without one. Uh, I use it just in case my phone needs charging. I, you know, I, I like always carrying cameras around, so just in case the cameras need to be topped up. And even if they don't need to be completely topped up, I always will top them up. If I stop for lunch or stop for whatever, I'll just throw the cameras in the back trunk, plug them into the battery, and just let them charge. You know, it doesn't really matter if they get 15 minutes worth of charge or an hour worth of charge. It's an extra bit of juice, right? So same thing with these. I could just, again, I have that cable stuck stuck in there, which you don't feel, which is great. Like, I have full flexibility and movement, and I don't feel that battery in there at all. Um, easily I could stop wherever. You know, if it's cold, I'd probably want to bring them into, let's say, the restaurant or whatever I'm stopping at to charge them, right? So that I can get a little bit extra time um, because why not, right? So you stop for 45 minutes or an hour, I, I would say you'd give these batteries a good a good dose of, of, of charge for sure. All right, I'm just up the hill, so we'll just zip up here and uh, we'll, 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 finish, we'll finish our little review. Oh, look at that pretty, pretty orange tree. Isn't that nice? The leaves on there, isn't that pretty? It is pretty. So when I see them with the fall, it's nice, but you have to watch, right? A lot of leaves, which makes it a little slippy. And the, the fact that it's cold, like I went out again the other day with some friends of mine, and uh, I really felt the bike just being a little, little sloshy, right? Listen, and my tires, I checked them halfway. I always, I always carry an air compressor with me. So I checked them about halfway through the ride when we stopped and front and rear were down like, like 10 or 11 PSI. So luckily I could fill them back up. But just kind of be aware of that, right? Uh, now we are... See, it stopped. You can feel them like really heat up. They're starting to heat up now, right? So again, I would think if you could start and let them heat up for a little bit and then, you know, it, it would probably like capture some of that heat in the gloves, then they may stay even a little bit warmer. But yeah, no, that's good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. The button's really, like, it's quite easily accessible when when you have them on, so it's easy to tap and change them and do whatever. My hands are, they're actually a little, a little, a little, a little sweaty. Yeah. No, that's good. I'm pleased. All right, guys. Uh, I'll put links to these below if you're interested. At the time of filming, they were getting five stars, so you can't really expect too much more than that. I'm going to turn all this off before I forget. And, uh, yeah, links down below if you're interested. Uh, take a look. And uh, we're going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. All right, my friends. I'm out. Later. Riding's getting close to ending, but not, not, not done yet.